Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have yet again another Halloween nail art tutorial and I went gory this time. We have zombie hands and blood splatter. I think, you know what, you can only embrace Halloween for so long and I have to take advantage of the little time that we have left in the month to do some nail art looks for you guys. Well, Halloween nail art looks. My previous nail art tutorial was more so on the glam side, very opposite of this. I'll go ahead and link that in the card up above as well in the description bar down below. So the typical blood splatter like technique, at least the first one that I ever learned was, is blowing red nail polish through a straw onto your nails and it will just give a very random scattered blood splatter effect, which it works very well, but it, it's, it I mean, takes a lot of energy out of you when you're just like constantly blowing through a straw as hard as you can onto your nails, like it gets really tiring. So today I've replaced that with nail stamping, a lot easier and not as tiring. As always, all products used can be found in the description bar down below. And if you want to see how I achieve these super gory zombie blood splatter nails, you're in the right place. So keep on watching. For my base, I'm going in with a white polish. This is BioSeaweed Gel's White Gel from the Beyond Nail Lacquer line, and I'll be applying that to all my nails. By the way, a huge thank you to everyone who showed so much support in my last tutorial. I asked you guys what you thought about this style of filming versus my older style, and a lot of you guys seemed to dig it, so I think I'll just keep going with it. So here I'm just going in with a second coat of white polish to reach full opacity. Here I'm sealing in all my nails with Girly Bits' Water Rush Quick Dry Top Coat and allowing that to completely dry before we move on to the nail art. While my nails are still drying very carefully, I'm going in and prepping my nails with Twinkle Tea's Lace Liquid Latex. It's going to protect the skin surrounding the nails from all the excess stamping polish. So I've gone in with a second coat of the liquid latex. I just personally find it gives for a better peel. Moving right along to the nail art, my favorite part, I'll be taking this blood splattered image from Bundle Munsters Stamping Plate BMXL28 using Girly Bits Stamping Polish in Fire Engine Red as well as my Clear Jelly Stamper. To layer over top of the blood splatter, I'm going to use this zombie hand image from Bundle Monster Stamping Plate BMH08 using Twinkle Tea Stamping Polish in Vibin. And I'll be applying this only to my index, middle, and pinky fingernail. Going back into the same stamping plate, I'll be taking this Rest in Peace tombstone image, also using the same black stamping polish and applying this to my ring fingernail. Using a pair of tweezers, I'm just going in and removing all the liquid latex. Using a What's Up Nails number 19 Dance Round Cleanup Brush dipped in acetone, I'm just going in and cleaning up any leftover little tidbits of polish that didn't peel off with the liquid latex. Mm -hmm. 
Lastly, I'm sealing everything in with Girly Bits's What A Rush Quick Dry Top Coat. This could also look really awesome with a matte top coat, so it's up to you, but I chose glossy. So here we have the final look and this is a look that I actually did last year well similar to it But I didn't record it last year So here I am making a tutorial about it and I really love wearing blood splatter nails and Halloween seems to be the only appropriate time to do so So here you have it some zombie blood splatter gory Halloween nails let me know in the comments down below what you guys are going to be dressing up as for Halloween. And I'm also interested in hearing because I know some people like to dress up their pets, their dogs and their cats or whatever pets you have. But kids and Halloween costumes are so cute. Let me know what you're dressing up as, your littles, what are they dressing up as. And let me know if you're going to be home handing out candy, if you're going trick-or-treating or if you're going to a Halloween party. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed and would like to do so, feel free to click my icon in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. I hope to see you guys back in my next video. Until then, remember, creativity is at your fingertips. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!